Hello everybody, I want to share with you how you could do a virtual morning meeting with your students if they're not in class, but you still want to continue building community in your class. So one of the things that you would need is some type of an agenda. One thing that I did is I created my agenda in Google Slides. You could easily do yours in PowerPoint or Keynote. I like Google Slides because I can share this with a link. Um, you can do the same thing with, with other programs as well. This is just the platform I choose to use. What I did is I created right here, um, just an agenda. Today is March 30th, 2020. And then I created um, a slide. Now, morning meetings generally have several different components. One is a greeting. Uh, next is a sharing component, a group activity, and some type of news. So I constructed this as an example for you so that you have it. The next thing that I would want to do is share this. So I would go right up here to share and I would want to make sure that anyone with the link can share. You can always change that uh, by doing this. In your organization, if you have your school account, generally it'll say anyone within your organization will have access to it, which adds a dip, another layer of protection for students. I'm going to go ahead and hit uh, copy and then I'm going to hit done. All right, next thing you want to do is you want to get into Flipgrid. Now, what I have right here is I have a class that I've already created in Flipgrid. If you're not familiar with how to use Flipgrid, I'm going to include a tutorial on how to use it in five minutes or less. Uh, basically, I have all my grids right here. Here's my English 101 grid that I'm going to use, and I'm going to add what is a new topic. So I'm going to call this uh, morning meeting. Uh, what you may want to do is you may want to put the date, so March 30th. All right, I'm just going to put that down. Uh, now, next, you want to do the recording time. So you want to choose a recording time where students can go through, they can do a greeting, they can share information, and um, if you want them to participate in a group activity through this video, uh, you can do that as well. For this particular activity that I have, if I go back, I'm going to have them do a greeting, and I'm going to have them share, and that's it. The group activity is going to be where they're going to respond to their classmates. All right, so what I'm going to do then is I'm going to limit them to uh, maybe a minute. Uh, that, that should be enough. So I'm going to put down a prompt right here. Welcome to our meeting. Check, Check out our agenda here. And I'm going to put in a link. And I'll put link to agenda, hit insert. Okay, so that's going to allow me to uh, share this on Google Slides with my students. Okay, so the next thing you could do is you could record a video for your students. This is actually going to be really helpful so that your students can understand what exactly you want them to do. So I'm going to go ahead and I could either upload my own video or I could record a video. So I'm going to record the video. So I'm going to hit access to my uh, camera and I'm going to go back to my morning meetings right here just to remember, uh, okay, what's the greeting? So good morning, friends. Today I'm grateful for and which emoji describes how you feel today. And I'm going to record. So three, two, one. Hey, good morning, class. It's Mr. Bergman. I want to introduce you to our new morning meetings. So I want to just say hello. Um, and I am thankful for uh, the ability to connect with you guys via the internet. So if you look at this slide that you see on your screen to the Google Slides uh, show presentation, you're going to see a bunch of emojis. Which emoji best describes you? And you're going to go ahead and tell us which one describes you and why. I would say I would choose the happy emoji because I'm really, really happy to see all of you guys. Now you'll finish, you'll finish recording. And after you're done recording, then you're going to respond to two of your classmates. Make sure that you give them a compliment. You also want to check out the news for today. So reminder, Make sure that you're studying your flashcards and that we have your essay due on Friday. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out or simply ask your question here. All right, so next, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit next. I'm gonna take a selfie 
and I'll hit next and then it's going to upload. So that's going to automatically um, post to Flipgrid. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to do is once this uploads, I'm going to hit complete. I have my video right here for students. I have my agenda and now I'm going to hit create topic. So now the next part is getting this to students. So you could get this to students a number of ways. You could simply choose Google Classroom right here and that'll automatically share. You could hit copy and just copy this. If you have another learning management system, you could do that. But you need to get this link to students. All right, so what are students gonna see? Well, students will see this. So let me go back to my grids and I'm gonna go show you a preview of what students will see. I can actually view it as a student and this is what students will see. They'll be able to watch my video they can click right here and they'll be able to access the agenda okay a view only part of the agenda and they'll be able to see right here um, everything on the agenda and then they'll be able to respond so they simply click right here and then they respond so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna record a sample so we'll just do this allow okay Hi everybody, uh, my name is Matt. I'm really grateful to be here today and to see everybody. Um, the emoji that best describes me right now is the cool sunglasses guy. All right, then I'm gonna hit next. Um, I'm just gonna just change this up just so that you can see this is sort of like a student example. So we'll just do like the cool sungla sunglasses guy right here. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take a picture, hit next. They'll say uh, Matt B um, and I can just hit submit video. All right, so now I have a sample student response right here. Okay, so the next part is that students are going to be able to go in and they're going to reply to one another. So how do they do that? They simply open up the video and they choose this button right here and then they can respond to another classmate. So this is just an easy way for to run a class meeting if you don't necessarily have a, a physical classroom, it's a great way to keep students connected. I've also some pointers for you. This right here, this part, I would put your instructions uh, down here. I'd probably be a little bit more detailed than I was, uh, but it's a really helpful way for students to connect with one another.